What's up? Today, I am going to attempt to solve the level eight Karakuri antique radio puzzle. This puzzle is a puzzle box, so it has a secret compartment in it, much like the Karakuri bad radio puzzle. Uh, it does have a couple twist knobs on it. It is made of wood. It is crafted by the Karakuri Creation Group out of Japan. Again, this is a level eight puzzle, which is extremely demanding. The point of this puzzle is obviously to open it up. So, challenge accepted. I've solved one of your radios already, Karakuri. <laughs> Time to solve another one. Before we get into the video, I'd like to take a second to thank our sponsors for sponsoring this video. Yeah, that's right. In tough times of adpocalypse, uh, companies come to the rescue to provide um, ads. But as a creator, it's my duty to not accept all the ads that come my way, but only the ones that make sense for this channel. And this one makes a lot of sense. This video is brought to you by Skillshare.com. Link in the description, first two months for free. So whether you wanna learn how to start or to grow your own business or how to get better at photography or Photoshop, there's no time like today to start a little bit of a side hustle using social media and all this. There is a possible passive second income in it for you. And Skillshare is there to help you out. So on this site, they've got over 19 thousand different courses. So one of the courses that I found that was super helpful and that is incredible, and this goes out to the people who are interested in creating your own deck of cards. I get messages on a daily basis, Chris, what are the processes for creating a deck of cards? Or for the most part, if you don't have any knowledge within Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator or that type of thing, you're gonna have a hard time catching up to the, the level of professionalism that's out there already. But luckily, I found literally the perfect course for you. DKNG is actually one of the creators on Skillshare and I don't know how many tens of thousands of people follow their work but they're gonna basically take you through designing a deck of cards to really show you the ins and outs and how to work illustrator it's just a really great course uh, if you're looking to get into designing your own playing cards so normally this runs you about 10 bucks a month but the friendly folks over at Skillshare are offering a free two months but only to the first 499 people uh, that click the link in the description. Obviously these things go fast, but if you're interested, click the link below to get your first two months free off of Skillshare and you'll be well on your way to, uh, to creating your own design or helping yourself out with your own marketing or photography or whatever it may be. All right, uh, back to the puzzle solve. Thanks Skillshare. All right, time to solve this bad boy. All right, so <laughs> first things first, I've solved, uh, hold on. This is another radio puzzle that I've solved in the past, a little bit bigger. Uh, and this one to solve it, you had to bang, you had to smash it here and all the pieces would sort of pop open. Gently. Okay, that's not working. <laughs> I had to give it a shot, okay? I just wanted to see if it was the same. If it was, that would have been a really short video, by the way. This, uh, I think this relies on the knobs entirely. So let's, uh, let's play with these knobs. So what I'm gonna try to do first is uh, pull on each knob to see if there's like some type of resistance at any of these angles. Does not look like it. Uh, these pieces seem to be, seem to move a little bit. They're a bit loose. So that might have, obviously these come out. This, uh, so there is no seam here. Um, you, I don't know if you can pick that up, but there's no seam over here, only up here. So only the top parts come out. So maybe, what if I pull on them at the same time? Oh, you see I'm feeling, I feel a bit of resistance as I pull this one. I'm gonna pull again here. Something went quick, I think. Here we go. Oh, there's like a, like a hole here. Okay, I think I'm in. Let's try this one. Maybe they slide. Oh, maybe they don't. When I pull this, that's when, see? Oh, here's, a, this is interesting. So, I can't because, okay. So if I pull here, watch this knob. Can't see it, but it's moving ever so slightly. Hmm. Let's put them all in the same direction. Look at this. This one is now popping out. This one seems to be attached to this door here because as soon as I pull on this, it makes that last button move ever so slightly. And this one was still kind of stuck here, so. Hmm. Let's 
Well, this is proving to be a little bit trickier than I thought. I thought I'd have some type of clue, and right now I'm kind of, kind of in the dark. The only thing that happens is if I pull on this door, this one, there's a slight resistance right here. It's like a pocket. It's like resistance, and then boom, it gets loose right here. Pull on this knob. Oh, okay. I'm out a little bit. Oh, this is like a multiple phase thing. So now this is out. This one's locked there. Oh, it moves this way. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, but look, this piece here doesn't come out. Okay, hold on. This is cool. Is this one meant to open or is it just a decoy? I feel like it's meant to open, so let's try it out. Slides. Hmm. Okay. Let's get this one back to where it slides open. So that's the combination to slide it open. Now that it's here. See here it's locked. But as soon as I go here, that's where it comes out. Um, however, I feel like this should also open. I might just be like wasting my time and this is just a decoy, but I, I feel like because this has a seam, it kind of feels like the other one. Now, here we go. Bam! And now they're all this way. And then that slides over here. There you go. Hey! Oh, that's cool. So, a bit of like a combination lock puzzle, I guess. Pretty simple, but at the same time, I mean, it's it's not super logical. It's more tactile. This is definitely one of those tactile puzzles, but I do appreciate it because you have hints and clues as you pull and turn the pieces, you start to feel a little resistance. So it's a bit of a tactile puzzle to get to open. Uh, definitely you can store some stuff in here and nobody would ever get it, uh, which is kind of cool. So now let's try to put the pieces back. This has to slide out and then you got a little bit of a tongue and groove here and that I guess slides right back in. And now I have to get to the combination of the other one, which was something like this. Yeah. See, I got memory. And then this slides right back in there. And there you go. Mix those up. And now we're back and locked and loaded. And that is this little radio puzzle. Very cool. Uh, nice little piece of uh, furniture. <laughs> it kind of looks great on the shelf as well. This is one of those things that... Uh, it just much like the bad radio just looks really cool it looks like one of those vintage radios but definitely fun for your friends to play with if your friends come over you can maybe hide something in here and say if you open it you get whatever's inside and who knows what you can put in there but uh definitely very cool i love both of these pieces i wish i had a third one and just think like good things come in three so if i had a third one like maybe a smaller little alarm clock radio puzzle or something that'd be sick but <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. So that was the Karakuri Antique Radio Puzzle solved. <laughs> yeah, just dabbed. Is that a thing now? Do people still actually dab? I feel like dabbing's become a meme where like, you don't even have to dab anymore. People are just like, <laughs> got him. Nobody actually like goes in for the... All right, before you dislike this video, all right, give me a chance. I know, eh, I know it's not, I'm not perfect, right? We all have... We all, we're all battling our inner demons. I just choose to do it on a public platform, okay? So don't act like you're perfect, right? Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, always a pleasure doing these type of videos. I'm glad you guys are enjoying them. Again, I usually hang out for about 20 minutes after I post a video to answer some questions if you guys are down. Uh, make sure you hit the notification button on the next video if you want to be within that 20 minutes so you guys can get notified. All right, I'm done talking. Promise. Thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Bye. Oh,